Hey, welcome back to another Crypto Dave video. Now today I'm gonna to do the first of my four weekly update videos. This is for my crypto goals for 2019. I'll put the link to the original video in the description below, but basically I set out my crypto goals. These were financial goals for this year. And I split uh, my goals basically into five different revenue streams. So there was masternode, staking, trading, investing, and social. So they were the five goals. And I set a target of $100 a week for each one. Now the masternode and staking revenue is, is duplicated slightly because I go over that in more detail within those specific videos. But I'm gonna be doing a four weekly update video, easier to do every four weeks than every month because obviously we have a standard number of days then in a four weekly period as opposed to the months. Plus I can move the data directly over from my masternode and staking spreadsheets into this. So that's the reason why there's gonna be a four weekly update. So there'll be 13 updates hopefully for the year in total. But let's uh, jump straight in, have a look at how we've done so far. So let me first start by explaining the graphs. The graphs are gonna be the same for each of the revenue streams and then there's a, a grand total one at the end. But basically these are cumulative figures here. So we're doing or we're aiming for $100 a week. So this is a cumulative amount, so $400 over four weeks. Uh, the green line is the target and the blue lines here which are all substantially under the target lines at the moment, unfortunately, um, are in blue. So uh, starting with this stake in revenue, this was always going to be one of the hardest, I think, to uh, to reach our kind of target. Um, the reason being that is that, you know, I don't have that many kind of staking coins at the moment. Some of the staking coins which I had, I moved over to build out the masternodes for my masternode shootout series. So... We are limited to the number of kind of coins we've got at the moment. They will increase uh, during the year, not just with staking, but also kind of um, buying some other coins as well. Uh, the other thing, obviously, is that the price of everything is pretty low at the moment. You know, we're a year into this kind of bear market really now, and the price of everything, you know, substantially down on where it was a year ago, but even on where it was kind of six months ago. So that's uh, limiting the dollar amounts of our staking revenue. You can see here, you're just trickling along a few bucks a week. Uh, this last uh, week was, I think, a $10 week, but we're way below where we need to be. But with a nice increase in the kind of markets, which will help basically each of our different revenue streams, um, with an, you know, an uptick in the markets, maybe second half of this year, and some more coins to throw into this, hopefully we'll start to get towards our goals with the uh, staking coins. Uh, masternode a little bit more positive um, now I've fixed the number of masternodes I've got six different masternodes they will be fixed for the year that's part of my masternode shootout series uh, we're currently around 25% of where we need to be which considering the you know the suppressed nature of the kind of market I think is fairly reasonable I think this it, with a bit of an uptick in the market sort of quarter two maybe quarter three and then hopefully a little bit of a run up towards the end of the year we should have, I think, a decent shot at reaching our goals for this. So as you can see here, we've made basically $100 in four weeks. So about a quarter of where we would like to be. Anyway, let's jump over to the next couple of graphs. So this is uh, trading. Now, uh, as I mentioned in the initial kind of video, I thought trading was one of the uh, one of the chances of sort of reaching our kind of targets more quickly than the others. And we have actually, I think it's probably the, the best performing one so far. Uh, the first week, as you can see here, we didn't do a huge amount. We had a reasonable second week, a uh, bit of a slow third week, and then a reasonable fourth week again. Now, I must be said that I've been away a couple of different occasions. Uh, this month I've been on a couple of holidays, so that has kind of eaten into the amount of time I've been around to sort of keep an eye on the markets. And my trading strategy really is just... Um, I'm basically looking for kind of run-ups in some of my small cap coins. So when they run up uh, more than sort of 10% or something like that with, with no kind of good reason, I will sell a load of those and then wait for them to dip back down to buy in, you know, releasing either a little bit of Bitcoin or in some cases I'll buy, just buy an increased number of those original coins, particularly if it's a staking coin or something like that to, to boost the number of those coins up. So it's been, you know, reasonably successful. We're about $150 out of the 400 um, where, which we were hoping for. The other thing, obviously, the price of these coins, you know, I might have a small cap coin, my own 5,000 of something, which, you know, six months ago might have been worth a couple of grand and is now maybe only worth three or $400. So um, taking the same sort of percentage returns, you know, the actual dollar value of those kind of like returns are uh, a bit less. But overall, it's been pretty successful. I've only had one trade that kind of went uh, against me a little bit. I had to close it a bit of a loss, but everything else has been uh, pretty positive. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck into a little bit more kind of trade in the next few months and seeing how that goes. Now, uh, the next one. So these two here and the first two 
graphs, obviously it can only kind of go up or stay the same. Now trading, you know, I could make losses and investing obviously can uh, make losses. Now the investing uh, portfolio, I've showed people before on this channel, that's uh, this portfolio, portfolio here. Um, I'll put the link to this in the description below. But as you can see, this is year to date. So we started the year up here about 8,300. Now since then, uh, we've had basically, we had a good first week. So uh, day seven we were up here so we had a nice kind of first week and then big pullback uh, I actually invest another thousand here that's why there's this big uh, spike up but basically it's got to here and then sort of trailed sideways with some extra kind of losses so it's been a pretty poor week um, oh, sorry pretty poor month I should say for uh, the investment portfolio so far this is reflected as you can see here first week we we're up about a thousand dollars and then basically we've been in the red ever since we had a little bit of an increase this uh, between weeks two and three so we got a few of our kind of maybe fifty dollars of those losses back but then another pullback in the last week of this month and this reflects purely the kind of crypto markets so you know we are reliant on the markets kind of picking up a bit in order to um, you know see our investment kind of revenue increase but let's jump over to the last uh, revenue stream in the totals so the last one here is social and other revenue. Now, um, to be fair, this is purely just YouTube revenue. And this last week I had a sign up to Vulture, which I was credited with. So uh, thank you to anybody who uh, signs up using my affiliate links. I do get, you know, the occasional sign up, particularly for Vulture, for people setting up mask nodes and stuff like that. So uh, thanks very much for that. It does, uh, I do appreciate it, you know, helps to offset the hosting costs. Um, but uh, this, I think, along with uh, staking, is probably going to be the most difficult to get uh, to where we want to be um, without really, I think, a really big uptick in the kind of markets. Maybe a big uptick in the markets will then have a lot more people kind of on YouTube and stuff like that, you know, interested in finding out more about kind of cryptocurrencies. There'll be better advertising, maybe more expensive advertising opportunities, stuff like that. But I think this is probably going to be the, the most difficult one to get to where we uh, want to be but we shall uh, continue to plot on and see how things uh, go and then finally this is the total revenue now you'll see this basically just mirrors our investing revenue uh, slightly subdued because obviously we've got some revenue in from sort of mass nodes and staking and other bits and pieces but it will reflect particularly I think in the first few months it will reflect largely the investment portfolio then as the year goes on maybe and the amount that we get from you know trading and mass nodes and staking increases that might be sort of like slightly kind of flattened out but as you can see at the moment our total revenue uh, down substantially just over a thousand dollars across all the different kind of revenue streams we should be uh, at the moment at $2,000 in positive territory and we're $1,000 in negative territory. So we've got $3,000 uh, to make up uh, later on in the year. But that's it for um, these kind of kind of goals. I just want to run over very briefly. Somebody asked me about my coin accumulation target. So I've just added actually some figures in so you can see exactly where they are. So these are the eight coins I'm looking to accumulate. It's not really specific to 2019. These are just uh, coins I'm hoping to kind of accumulate over the next kind of period of kind of time, maybe uh, get to some of these kind of goals before the next kind of bull run and then maybe have to kind of sit out and wait till uh, the next kind of bear market and bull cycle in order to get the rest. But um, as you can see, uh, 3.17 Bitcoin out of the 21 I'm hoping for. Um, I'm hoping to get to 10,000 XRP, 1,000 EOS, 25,000 Stellar Lumens, 100,000 Tron, 50,000 Cardano, 10,000 IOTA and 1,000 uh, NEO. Um, we're closest with Stellar. I've got a few Stellar and I, I am increasing the numbers of coins here through uh, largely through kind of, like kind of trading profits and stuff like that. So we are slowly um, starting to kind of increase the numbers of these coins uh, week by week or month by month. Still haven't got any EOS or IOTA. Um, obviously Tron's had a big kind of pump up over the last kind of month um, comparison to some. So we haven't uh, got any more of those, but I think I've got a few more Stella and uh, some Neo, and I think maybe a few Cardano this month. But anyway, that's just my generic kind of coin accumulation kind of targets. Anyway, uh, that's it for uh, this video. Just really wanted to keep people abreast of it. I get um, messages and, and updates in some of my other videos. So I will be doing this on a four weekly basis and it's just a sort of top down overview of how things are going. So ask me anything in the uh, comments below as always. And, uh, you know, have a great day and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.